I used Claude AI to write an Instagram reel script and I'm about to post that reel in 3 2 1 and it's live. Let's see how it performs. Yo, check this out. This video is at 1.7 million. 1.7 million views and Claude wrote the script. Isn't that insane? We started our Instagram page in April 2023 with zero followers. And at the time of shooting this video, we're at more than 600,000 followers in about 18 months. And in the course of these 18 months, we've put up about 500 to 600 videos on our profile, 400 of which I had personally scripted. I used to write scripts every single day in order to create videos that was a perfect blend of value provision as well as virality. And a lot of them actually did go viral. On Instagram, we pull about 15 million views every month only on Reels. But that got me thinking, what if an AI can actually write as good as me or even better than me? Well, turns out it can. In this video, I'm going to teach you exactly that. How I personally use Claude's latest feature, Claude Projects, in order to write my Instagram Reel scripts. So hit that subscribe button. My name is Sridev and you are watching the AI Lab by 100X Engineers. Firstly, big disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. Claude is not paying us. I just absolutely love Claude. I think Claude is one of the best LLMs out there in terms of creative writing. So just wanted to put it out there. That being said, Claude came up with a new feature called Claude Projects. Claude Projects is kind of similar to GPTs. It's basically your LLM, but for very specific tasks. And the best part, you can provide it a huge amount of context. I can basically provide it context worth a 500 pager book and the model will go through that data every time it generates an output. And as a result of that, you get much better output, you get much fine-tuned outputs, and you get much more narrowed down outputs, more to your liking. Now, I'm gonna demonstrate this feature using the example of how I use this feature in order to automate my script writing process, but honestly, it's a lot more than that. So make sure you stay until the end. Now, before I teach you how to do this, I have a confession to make. I use Claude extensively for scripting, but not 100% of the scripts that go out are generated by Claude. Probably about 70 to 90% is. My team and I definitely make a few changes here and there. Sometimes we insert our thoughts and opinions into the script so that the video is more genuine and it comes from a human standpoint. But there is a very strong reason why I do this, which I will tell you in a bit, so hang in there. For now, let's look at the process. To use Claude, go to claude.ai and sign up for a new account. It's free to create an account. Now, I'm using a plan called the professional plan, which costs me about $20 a month, roughly 1,600 rupees. And this is a pretty decent plan that actually gets me what I want. Now, once I'm here, I'm going to hover on Claude on the top left corner, and I'm going to click on projects. And once I'm on projects, I will click on create new project. And I will call my project Reelbot. All right, now it's asking me what I'm trying to achieve, which basically means I should describe my project, the goals, subject, et cetera, et cetera. I am looking to write Instagram reel scripts that are 30 to 60 seconds long about AI tools, tutorials, and AI news, which is basically what we do. These videos are educational in nature and strike the perfect balance between value provision and virality. All right, I'm just gonna create the project. Once I'm done with that, this is basically where I prompt it, but that's the basic way of doing it. The better way or the more advanced way of doing it is to add content or context. Now, remember when I told you over the last one and a half years, I've written over 400 scripts. I have all those scripts in a document, and this is basically what that document looks like. It's basically just a dump of so many scripts that I've written over the past one and a half years. And this is going to be context to Claude. So I will click on the add content button over here. I'll click on upload from device. And even though there's about three to 400 scripts in this file, it's only taken 16% of the knowledge capacity that Claude projects can actually have, which is pretty cool. Now, since I've added my context, I want to provide custom instructions. So I will click on set custom instructions and I will basically describe in a much more detailed way on what I'm expecting from Claude. So it basically says, instruct Claude how to behave and respond for all of the chats within Reelbot. And this is basically what my prompt is. Let's read it. You are an expert Instagram Reels script writer for a page that creates content on generative AI, specifically AI news, AI tools, tutorials, and reviews. 
I've provided a document with scripts that have performed well on Instagram. The first line of each script is the hook, a line meant to capture the viewer's attention. The remaining lines are the main body, and finally, the last line is a call to action, which goes like, for more AI stuff, follow 100x, which is usually what I say at the end of every single 100x video. I want you to follow these instructions and adopt the style and tonality of writing similar to the scripts in the project knowledge. So basically what I'm asking Claude to do is to copy my style of writing and try to sound like me. Now you can go as detailed as you want in terms of your instructions. I'm gonna save it and we are all set. Now let's look for a piece of news in order to create a relaunch. Now, Microsoft launched a new feature called OmniParser, which is very similar to Anthropic's computer use. It's basically a feature where an AI agent takes control of your computer and can actually use it like a real human being. It can be for code, it can be in order to perform certain actions, whatever you want it to do. It's a very exciting capability. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this entire article and I will paste it. There's a little more left, so I will copy that as well and I will paste this in. And now we have the entire article on Claude. I will put these in quotes and I will proceed to write my prompt. Now I don't need to get very complex or wordy over here because I've already given it custom instructions. I just need to tell it what I want. Write a 30 to 60 second Instagram real script in a style of writing similar to the knowledge, right? I'm going to click on send prompt and let's see what Claude gets us. All right, so this is basically what Claude got us. You won't believe what Microsoft just dropped in the AI world. Okay, that I feel is a pretty decent hook, right? A hook is basically meant to capture the viewer's attention. You want to create a curiosity gap in hooks that makes the viewer want to watch the video for a little longer. So when I say you won't believe what Microsoft just dropped in the AI world, naturally, People who are interested in AI are curious. So I'd say that's a pretty good hook. You won't believe what Microsoft just dropped in the AI world. A new AI model called OmniParser that's beating GPT-4 at understanding computer screens. This is huge. Nice. Think of it like having an AI assistant that can actually see and understand everything on your screen perfectly. Every button, every icon, every menu. The crazy part, when they tested it against GPT-4V, OpenAI's vision model, OpenParser won by a landslide. It's so good at understanding interfaces that Microsoft has already started using it to enhance their agents. And get this, it's completely open source. You can find it on Hugging Face with an MIT license, meaning anyone can use it to build better AI tools. What makes it special is how it breaks down screenshots. It just doesn't see the screen. It understands what each element does and how they work together. It's like giving AI perfect manual for every interface it sees. This is going to change how we interact with computers forever. Imagine telling an AI, book me a flight, and it actually knows exactly what buttons to click. For more AI stuff, follow 100x. I'd say that is pretty perfect. I'd actually give that probably an 8, 8.5 on 10. It's pretty spot on. So usually in my reels, I try to break down complex things and explain that in very simple languages. So we're not going into complex language in this particular script at all. It's actually trying to explain this whole concept in very simple language. You know, it, it could have said something like, it's an omni-vision model agent that actually passes your computer, blah, blah, blah. But it didn't say any of that. It just says that it understands what you see on your computer screen, which is amazing. It got a pretty decent hook. It got a pretty easy to understand body, and it got the perfect call to action, which is for more AI stuff, follow 100x. I would give this a pass. But remember earlier when I said that I almost never use 100% AI generated scripts and it's only about 70 to 90%? Here's why. If I were to write or add something to the script, I would definitely make comparisons of previous such models that has been released. There was a very popular GitHub repo called Self-Operating Computer, which was a very primitive version of what these particular features actually do today. I would have made comparisons and highlighted how we've started out with a very primitive version of this feature and how far we've come in order to have a pretty decent version of this feature today. Now, why couldn't Claude actually do that for me? Simply because I just did not give it that context. 
Claude has no idea that there was a model on GitHub that actually came out which actually did that. So although it's great at generating these pretty realistic sounding scripts, it's not great at simulating insights like a human brain would actually get insights. I have been following the AI space for years. I have years of contextual memory. I have so many experiences with AI. I have read so many papers. I have tried out so many tools. I have really played around in this space quite a lot hands-on. And as a result of that, I am able to come up with such insights from memory and experience, whereas Claude is simply unable to. But this is a very temporary limitation. The moment these context windows get higher and higher, Claude will be able to reference and process much more information than it actually does today. And I don't think this day is very far. A couple of years worth of learning, knowledge, and context is a lot of data. And slowly but surely, we're actually getting to that point step by step. Now, this is definitely a great way in order to use Claude, in order to sort of reference a style of writing and sort of replicate that style of writing. But there are a lot more other ways in order to use Claude projects as well. You can use it in order to ideate and generate entire marketing campaigns. You can use it to generate sales pitches. You can use it for data analysis. And all you need to do is give it the right instructions. Which brings me to my final point. Claude would not have been able to output a script like this unless I provided it three to 400 of my scripts. It was necessary for me to go through that grind of creating these three to 400 scripts. Now, I know a lot of you in the comments would go like, hey, can you please provide those transcripts so that we can also try it? And I get why you would want that. But honestly, it won't be of any use to you. The kind of scripts that I write is very specific to the kind of page that I run. It's not a generic template that you can use for any kind of scripts. It's only for my kind of scripts, which ultimately underlines the importance of domain knowledge or domain expertise. An LLM or any kind of an AI model is as good as you instruct it. It follows you, not the other way around. And what's key in learning how to prompt any kind of a model is to be a domain expert or have domain knowledge in a particular field. My domain knowledge comes in applied AI and writing and I was able to apply a combination of that in order to automate a daily process in my life. What is that process that you can automate in your life? What is the domain knowledge or expertise that you have? That is what you need to find out. Because ultimately, prompt engineering is just a fancy way of saying, instruct an AI model in English. That's all it is. Unless you know what to instruct, you're not gonna get good outputs. So fundamentally, it still remains important to be good at your craft. I hope this video was useful. If you liked it, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.